Well, done with work. I'm gonna go load up the rest of my stuff and we are heading out to elk camp for the next 12 days. It's gonna be epic. But Jeremy had to go to bingo tonight before we could leave, God forbid. It's kind of an inside joke. Uh, we're not in a huge rush tonight because we're not gonna get there before dark anyhow. But we thought we'd go set up camp and, you know, just get start to get situated and then we're gonna scout tomorrow. And then I'm heading to scout a different area and Jeremy and Austin will stay there and scout that area. And then we have hunters coming in Saturday. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be action packed and uh, should make for some pretty cool video, I would sure think. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Hey, how's your cart looking? About well, maxed out. I don't think I can fit much more than this bad boy. It's almost like we're gonna be gone for 12 days or something. You need a cart? No, the cart is pretty sick. <laughs> we gotta get out of this place. I think uh, we're gonna set a new record for the highest grocery bill we've ever had. Ooh, butter. I have some butter, but we better get some more. Sticks. Yeah, I'm gonna go or we're gonna be here all night. Well, this is uh, what about $500 worth of groceries looks like. Last year, I think we had would have probably had the same amount for about $250. That's how much groceries went up, but that's all right. We are not gonna go hungry. We got the necessities. Plus, Jeremy was at bingo, so uh, right when we walk out here. He should be pretty much pulling up. I think we'll time it just right. Hit the road, get set up late, sleep tonight, scout tomorrow, hit it hard. It's gonna be a good time. See you on the road. Last pit stop for gas. Got all the trucks topped off. And we're rolling. It's a little after 10 o'clock. Just getting down there so we can scout early tomorrow morning. But should be fun. We set up camp a lot of times in the dark. And we'll get the rest of it situated tomorrow. For now, we're gonna get there. Just got to camp, getting set up the dark I'm gonna drop down the team lodge it is like midnight I think ish 1150 I'm gonna drop this bad boy down and get moving I'm ready to go hunt let's go Rambo hunted that night didn't he? it is September 30th. 29th. 29th. Yeah, cool watch, you know There's only 30 days in September. Fun fact. So, so, we are heading out scouting this morning. We got the coffee going. Jeremy's being a bum, like We're always. Ready and waiting on these two bums. And, uh. Coffee's ready. Yeah. But we're gonna try to find some big bulls today, get some cameras checked, and kind of make a game plan for the first week of season. So we'll see you out there. You gotta let them know who the big bull is and how. Yeah, let's go home. What were you saying? I said, Austin wants to ride in the front and I called shotgun but uh, his mom had called us before this trip and said he can go as long as you don't let him sit in the passenger seat because he likes to push buttons. People I hang out with. 
Hey, button pusher. <laughs> Thanks, Mama Yoakum, for letting them come. Hey, girl, Ruthie. Okay, his rear weak is relax. His fronts are solid, though. Pretty sure we got pictures of him. There's like three or four other bulls to the right of them. Yeah, there's quite a few oh, further up on that ridge. hike into this big bowl where there's a whole lot of action going on this morning. Chaos, a couple of real nasty sounding bugles. We, we saw the one bull, he's a six by seven. He's one of the bigger ones that we have on camera this year. But we don't have any cameras in this bowl they're hanging out in. And we're gonna go try to put eyes on them and see if there's any new bulls in there. We got to this high point, but they're over the next hill behind us in the trees. We're not gonna go mess with them too much. We'll just come post up in this area tonight and see what we see. But good little start to the old scouting trip, boys. We're gonna keep moving because it is still magic time. So we'll see you at the next spot, hopefully with the even bigger bowl. Well, we just checked couple more cameras had a couple bulls on them but nothing spectacular so we are adjusting our camera set just a little bit today because one thing we've always done is bounced them around because sometimes you can find the sweet spot leave one in the same spot too long and maybe it's not the right spot so hard to say but we're gonna go put another one up on a different pond that should have water in it see if they've been over there but then I think we'll probably go to camp finish getting set up because we didn't fully set up yesterday and get a nap in and scout tonight and I'm heading northern tomorrow so northward I should say but yeah the big bull we saw this morning is the one that disappeared on us about 12 days ago and right when I got my phone scope on him, I got a short clip and then the sun crested the horizon right into the sun and just completely blanked. There was nothing I could do about it. By the time it moved, he had moved. We didn't want to go in there and mess with him too bad, so we just stayed out of there. Doing some chores. And hopefully he uh, pays off. We just ran into Marcus. He has a tag and he's been scouting pretty hard by the sounds of it. And I have a feeling he's gonna shoot a big one. Maybe opening morning even. I mean. Well, first for everything, shoot something on opening morning. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we just got done checking some cameras and glassing and it's hot. So we're probably gonna head back to camp and good luck, man. Yeah. Hope yeah. you shoot a big one. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah, um, you too. So keep. Keep doing it. Yeah. We'll, we'll it. try. <laughs> all, all three of you guys are good. Appreciate, Appreciate it, man. And your wives, they're all they're all good. Yeah, they're mediocre, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're not gonna we're watch this. So. The video, yeah. uh, they probably won't watch it anymore. All their wives, all your wives are good. <laughs> hey, see you. Good luck, dude. Good luck. Well, we're just heading back out scouting for the evening. Jeremy's got the Rambo loaded. He's gonna go into one area. Austin and I are gonna go a different way. So cover a little extra ground and hopefully find a couple new bulls tonight. We've been going through pictures all day and there is a couple new bulls. One is nice, I'd say he's a shooter. Uh, another one kind of borderline, but good start uh, to the scouting excursions. So we'll take it, but we're gonna get moving.
What's Chef Jeremy up to tonight? Quesadillas. Bush like quesadillas. Quesadillas with bush like money. Tacos. First full day of scouting. Uh, it was pretty good this morning. Tonight was kind of a bust, but it was 90 today, so they moved late. We did see some elk, didn't get a good look at the bull that we saw, kind of disappeared, it was right at dark. Jeremy saw a bunch of elk in the distance, but they were like two and a half miles away, so hard to tell how big they were. All in all, good day, and uh, good day at camp, so. Hit her again tomorrow, I'm heading, heading out early in the morning to head to a different unit uh, that I will be hunting the next three days with my uncle and Jeremy and Austin will be down here with our first two hunters of the year for rifle elk season. Kicks off in two days, so one more full day of scouting. Hunters will roll in tomorrow, and then it's gonna get real, so should be good. Good morning, guys. It is September 30th, 3.45 a.m., and I am headed north to a different elk unit. It's a little bit bittersweet because we found some big bulls down here but I am super excited to go hunting with my uncle Gary and my cousin Aaron and my dad for a few days so it's gonna be awesome we've kind of had a little hunting group together and fishing group since I was just a kid and every year deer hunted and this and that and you know you'd finally have somebody draw a coveted elk tag it is awesome to get to spend that time together so really excited about it and I got up plenty early I'm gonna go pick up Gary and Aaron we're gonna go scouting today and hopefully we'll be on a big bull in the morning it is the day before the day of rifle elk opener Travis headed up north. Austin and I are gonna do one last little morning scout here and try to dial down where we're gonna go. Lock down the big boys. We uh, found another big six by seven on one of our cameras. So yeah, there's two of them. Travis left a little part of him with us. Uh, uh, I'm terrible at this pointing thing. That's his nasty little undies. undies. <laughs> or a sock, it's a sock, but. We're not sure what to do with it because it's nasty, so. Just keep kicking it around on the floor. <laughs> Just, we're gonna play, we're gonna play hockey with it. All right, well, that's enough screwing around. We're gonna go find some elk. He's busted off and back too, a little bit. Yeah, that's the bull that's been at the tank like every day. See that he has a leaf like stuck to his lip. Yeah. I saw that. It looked like he's sticking his tongue out at us.
to that that pulls us down right there. Out the film, there was a couple of good bulls, and here comes another one. There's another good bull right there. Look at him. His fronts aren't great. They're still coming out from up there. There's almost too many elk, I don't even know. Well, uh, our morning chaos is over. Now have both of our hunters in camp. Austin and I are going to go set up a camera close to where that herd was, which now became much bigger. Much bigger. After the chaos this morning. We're just gonna kind of take it easy, relax today, do a little uh, light scouting tonight. Some trail camera pictures and videos with the guys. And get everybody all pumped up. Okay. And then we're gonna just kind of Hunt them lightly tomorrow. We don't want to push them around. We want to keep them where they're at because there's a lot of elk there and a lot of shooters. So we're going to take it easy and hopefully kill something first morning. I can. Let's do it. I'm ready for it. Well, there's a bunch of bulls bugling in this valley, so we're going to walk down to see if we can put eyeballs on any of them without bumping them.
opening days tomorrow, so we put them to bed. Hopefully they don't talk tonight so nobody else hears them. We'll come in here in the morning, find the biggest one, and kill them. That'd be the perfect scenario. It is September 30th. I'm here with Rick. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Well, we got one bull spotted tonight. What are you making tonight? Burgers. Smash burgers. Boys and girls, we ready to go for tomorrow? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Tomorrow is opening day. 2020 rifle elk. So hopefully get some big boys. 2020. 2022. Sorry. Jeez, I've only had one beer. <laughs> I swear. All right. Good luck tomorrow, guys.